Hello student, my name is Hamza. Today I'll be helping you with your in-cab inspection with automatic. And uh, this is coming from a Skyline CDL. I'm an instructor at Auburn, Washington. So always when you're starting with your uh, test exam, you always tuck the wheel. Never forget to tuck the wheel. That's the first thing that you always do. Have tuck the wheel. Once you do that, let the examiner know you would like to be starting with your demonstrating the exterior light. So not that I have tucked the wheel, I'm inside the vehicle, I will start with demonstrating my exterior light. So I would like to start with my exterior light. Exterior, exterior lights are working properly. Examiner gives me a thumbs up, which is indication of so they're working properly. My four-wheel flasher, they're working properly. My left signal indicator, they're working properly. My right signal indicator, examiner gives me a thumbs up, they're working properly. My headlights, my low beam, they're working properly. My high beam indicator, examiner gives me thumbs up, which is indication of they're working properly. Now, I will send the examiner to my tractor tail light that I, that I need to check. Examiner is walking there, I'm watching through from the side mirror. He's there. I would like to start with my clearest light. Clearest light, it is good. Examiner gives me a thumbs up, which is good. My forward flasher indicator, they're working properly, they good. Now, my left signal indicator, they're working properly. Examiner gives me a thumbs up. My right signal indicator, they're working properly. Examiner gives me a thumbs up. Now, my brake light check. Examiner gives me a thumbs up, which is indication they're working properly. Now, I will tell the examiner to go to my trailer tail light. Do the same thing. My clearance light, they're working properly. Examiner gives me a thumbs up. My four-way flasher examiner gives me a thumbs up. They're working properly. My left signal indicator, they're working properly. My right signal indicator, they're working properly. As well, my brake lights, examiner gives me a thumbs up. They're working properly. Not that I see the examiner is walking towards me. I will have everything completely off and wait for him to enter the vehicle. Not that he came in sight. I'm waiting for him and I would like to start. You always tell the examiner once you sit down in the vehicle, let him know that you'll be doing your safety start. Making sure, safety start, the neutral, it is in neutral. The brakes are out, you apply the brakes and now you turn the key on. Not the engine on, just key on. My ABS light came on and off, examiner. My def light came on and off. The truck has a one eighth of a def tank fluid. My air pressure it is really normal. It is below 90. If it was above 90, I would have to fan the brake, but now it is really normal. Now I have the engine on. Examiner, I'll be doing my air governor test. Examiner, the air governor should cut out between 120 and 140 psi. I will wait and relax. That's it for the air governor to cut out. I have the window down. I see that my air pressure it is very low. I will ask the examiner. Examiner, is it okay if I speed up the process? He will say sure. So I give it a little gas. key on, not the engine on, and release my tractor and trailer protection valve. Examiner, the, re the reason why I release my tractor and trailer protection valve is that I'll be doing my three important air check. First one is my air leak. The truck cannot lose no more than four PSI in one minute. Now I will push and hold on the service brake. I will ask the examiner. Examiner, is it okay if I pull my phone to time it? 
he will say sure I have my timer out wait for my needle to stabilize my needle it is stabilized my test begins now Fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty. Examiner, after one minute, the truck did not lose no more than four PSI in one minute. The truck passed the test. Put off the brake. My next test is my low air warning light. Examiner, the low air warning light and buzzer should come on at or above fifty five PSI. I will pump the service brake. Examiner, my low air warning light and buzzer came on at 55 PSI. The truck, it is working properly. Last but not least, it is my tractor and trailer protection valve. My tractor and trailer protection valve should pop out approximately at 40 PSI examiner. I will continue pumping the service brake once again and wash my tractor and trailer protection valve carefully. Examiner, my tractor and trailer protection valve pop out at 30 PSI, the truck it is working properly. Now, completely off, apply the brakes, make sure it is in neutral. This is the best time to uncheck the wheel. So, examiner, excuse me, I will uncheck the wheel. Get off the vehicle in safety manner. Three safety contact, one, two, and three. Come back in the vehicle in a safety manner. One, two, and three. Not that I came in sight. Examiner, I'll be doing my second safety start. Making sure it's neutral. Apply the brakes. Now, engine on. Really. My ABS light came on and off. My depth light came on and off, examiner. While my air pressure is building up, I will be doing my end cap inspection examiner. I like to start with my seat belt and go it up. My seat belt is not cut or frayed. It is securely mounted, not broken, not damaged. It is working properly. My seat on is working properly. Air on is working properly. My left signal indicator is working properly. My right signal indicator is working properly. My four-wheel flasher indicator is working properly. As well, my high beam indicator is working properly. My oil pressure, it is really normal. The warning light is off. My temperature gauge is really normal. The warning light is off. My voltmeter, it is charging. I have a three safety equipment. The first one is my fire extinguisher. It's fully secure, fully charged and up to date. I have my reflective triangles here. I have my spare fuse. My wiper, it is securely mounted. Not broken, not damaged. They're working smoothly. My washer fluid, it is not damaged. It is working properly. My heater, examiner, they're working properly. My defroster, is working properly. My windshield, windows, mirrors, and glass are securely mounted. Not broken, not damaged, not cracked, not chipped. They're clean and clear. There's no legal secrets or anything that's blocking my vision. And my mirrors are just there for me. Last but not least is my brake test. To test my tractor, I will release my trailer. Examiner, this, this is my three important brake test. I'll be testing my tractor, so I'll release my trailer. Put it in the D, drive. 
gives me hesitation, hop out, examiner. My tractor brakes are working properly because the vehicle did not move. Next one, I'll be testing my trailer. I will have to release my tractor. And put in D, and drive, get in drive, hop out, examiner. My trailer brakes are working properly because the vehicle did not move. Last but not least, it is my service brake. Examiner, I will release my tractor as well as my trailer and put in D. Release my tractor and trailer and move five to 10 feet with my hands up. Brake, neutral, pop out. Examiner, my service brakes are working properly because my vehicle did not move right or left. So my in-cab inspection has concluded and best of luck on your test. And don't forget, you chuck the wheel.